Hi everyone! Welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura, and we're on day two of our story article, Dead Wednesday. So we learn this is about a eighth grader, a、right? kid in school,、mm-hmm. Robbie, also called Worm.、Mm-hmm. Who's a student who doesn't like attention?、Mm, okay, and we also learned that he prefers to observe high school life and live in his friend Eddie's shadow. Yeah, and because of this, he's looking forward to Dead Wednesday. This is when a student gets a dead young person's name. This person died a preventable death.、Mm, now, I think this idea is very smart. The student is then invisible for a day, as if they were. Dead.、Mm. Yeah, it kind of is supposed to make you think about your life choices. Exactly. How could I do things better to prevent my、right. death? Right. But Worm likes the idea because <laughs> he can do whatever he wants, and no one will pay attention、mm. to him. Now, there's another student in this class,、mm-hmm. Monica Biddle. She gets her name first, but she once told Worm, "Get a life."、Uh-huh. So Worm doesn't like her. Although she does often look <gasps> at Worm. Ooh, mean Monica.、Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's ter- Worm's turn to get a name, and this is where we stopped、yeah. from yesterday. So let's get ready to start again with day two, and let's read through it right now. Reading. Dead Wednesday. Becca Finch, 17, car accident victim. Worm would rather be a dead boy, but Becca will do if it means no one can see him. Worm can't wait to finish school. There will be a fight later between two of the toughest guys. He'll go with Eddie. Everyone will be there, girls, even teachers. However, to Worm's disbelief, the ghost of Becca Finch appears. She persuades Worm to go with her. How can he miss an occasion to talk to a ghost? Worm isn't very good at chatting with girls, but somehow Becca is different. She encourages him to come out of his shell. She believes that's why she's here to help Worm. Worm tells Becca that his family runs a writers' retreat. By chance, Becca's favorite author is staying there now. Becca loves one of her books. Which she says changed her life. Now Becca not only wants to see the writer, but also wants a signed copy of the book. So you might look at this first sentence and think, "Well, hang on, that's not a sentence. There,、right. There's no verb here.、Uh-huh. What's going on? It's more like what it says on the piece of paper,、oh. and it says Becca Finch, seventeen. Car accident victim.、Aww. So that's obviously the name of the person who he gets his、mm-hmm. dead person, and her name is Becca. Usually Rebecca. That's、mm-hmm. short for Finch.、Right. She was seventeen, really young, and she was a car accident victim. So this a victim is somebody who suffers as a result of a disease,、mm. an accident, an attack. We often think of victims as being innocent. It wasn't their fault, and if it's a car accident, it was probably a preventable death.、Mm. It was somebody else's fault if they'd driven carefully. Exactly, this wouldn't have happened. So here's another way we can use the word victim. Several innocent victims were hurt in the jewelry store robbery.、Ooh. 我们刚刚看到 victim 这个字哦，它是一个名词，就是受害者。举例来说 ，the new medicine is said to help save the lives of cancer victims。所以可以看得出来 ，victim 跟很很多时候像一个疾病啦，或者是像车祸等等去连用，表示什么样的受害者。那我们刚刚看到的例句是指这种新药，据说可以用来挽救癌症病人的生命哦，超厉害的。那回到课，我们提到的是，哇哦，这个 Worm 他抽到的人名是 Becca Finch， 那他是一个十七岁的车祸受害者。So this is the name Worm gets, and we see in the story, Worm would rather be a dead boy for sure, but Becca will do if it means no one can see him. So yesterday, you'll remember we used rather than. He、ah. would rather observe than have an active life. 
Would rather has a similar sort of meaning. It's used to show a preference, what you would like, maybe instead of what you have. 嗯，没错。其实我们都知道嘛 ，worm 它是男生，所以他当然宁可会抽到一个呃男生，然后过世的人。不过他想说没有关系啦，反正呢，他可以就是被大家忽略，所以抽到 Becca 也 OK 啦。Would rather 就是宁可怎么样怎么样，像是呢，这是一个夸饰的说法。I would rather die than be in the same elevator with the stinky neighbor.、Ew. Yeah. Okay, so Worm thinks, ah, boy, it would have been nicer,、mm. but this name Becca will do. If something will do, it's okay.、Mm. It's not great. It's maybe not exactly what you want, but. You'll take it. You'll、It's、make it work. Acceptable,、yes. right? Will do. 就是足够了。好了，可以啦。反正他就是要达到他的目的，要导导弹一整天就好了。So we see Worm can't wait to finish school、mm. on this particular day. Right. So Worm 当然等不及下课的时间。But why?、Mm, okay. And the article says there'll be a great fight later between. Two of the toughest guys. Okay, there'll be a fight later.、Mm. If you remember, or you guys are at high school, <laughs> you know that always gets that kind of excitement. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun! I want to watch the fight. Exactly, and it's between two of the toughest guys. Here we're using the word "tough" to mean strong and powerful. They're able to kind of take pain and give out、mm-hmm. pain. But this meaning of "tough" also means they're often involved in. Fights and violence、mm. and trouble of that kind of sort. So we might say, "Oh, Darren is a tough guy. I wouldn't cause him any trouble." He might beat you up. Okay,、mm-hmm. tough. 其实这个字有很多意思，在本课它有种那种很很厉害啊，很强壮啊，但它也有坚强的这样的意思哦。我们来看一下跟课文类似的例句的用法。That football player looks super tough.、Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't think anyone dares to go near him. Yeah. So there's going to be a big fight. Two tough guys are going to、mm. see who's the toughest, and everyone's excited. And we see everyone will be there. <laughs> Girls, even <gasps> teachers. Whoa.、Well, the teachers、okay. want to know who's the toughest. And. Maybe stop things getting out of hand. Okay, hmm, interesting. So he is now very excited to watch the fight. There are two people fighting. However, to Worm's disbelief, the ghost of Becca Finch appears. It, Whoa! That's the name he got. This story has taken a big turn into the supernatural、mm, here. Yeah. So we've gone from high school with fights and romances and nerdy <laughs> kids to. <laughs> A ghost appears.、Mm. No wonder it's to Worm's disbelief. Hmm. Here we see to Worm's. Hmm. In our English, it's disbelief. Okay. Then we add a emotional noun. Then the sentence is about the ghost feeling something. OK， 那需要特别注意哦。其中的名词的意思呢，是有带着情绪性的。那非常常见的情绪性的名词有刚刚提到的 disbelief， 不可置信，就有一种怀疑的感觉。那你可以接什么呢 ？Surprise or delight， 就是指哇， wow, 很惊讶，很愉快啦。To one's disappointment 就是令他失望的事，这样子的意思哦。你还可以用 regret， 就是指非常的懊悔，或者是 satisfaction 很满足。然后还有什么呢 ？Anger 也常见啊，就是令他生气的事哦。OK， 那再来呢，你也可以用这个 much to one's。然后再接名词，或者是 to one's great， 然后再接刚刚提到情绪性的名词，有强加强这个语气，表示非常非常怎么样。好，我们要举个例子会比较清楚哦。举例来说，我本来觉得我是个路痴，我应该不会通过我的这个驾照的这个考试哦。But to my surprise, I passed my driving test. Woo! 好啦，那回到课文，我们提到的是什么呢？哦、oh, ，他们不是要看有两个人要打架吗？然而，令 Worm 不可置信的是 ，Becca Finch 的鬼魂竟然出现喽！我们继续看下去。
Yeah, this language point is、mm-hmm. kind of saying the ghost appears and Worm doesn't believe、mm. it. He's like, "This is impossible. Right? This can't we're happen." We're reading this and we're thinking, "Ghosts、What? aren't real." But in this story, it seems they are, and、mm. we see she. So Becca Finch's、mm-hmm. ghost. She persuades Worm to go with her. The word persuade means to use words, maybe logic, but also emotions、ah. to get someone to do something you want them to. Usually, when、mm-hmm. they don't want to do it at first, they might、ah. be saying, "No, no, I'm not doing that. I'll go on. It'll be fun."、Mm. That's me persuading you. For example, Johnny persuaded his parents to let him go to a party. On Saturday night. Hmm. Okay. Persuade 这个动词有着劝服啦、说服这样的意思。常见的句型有 persuade somebody to do something， 说服某人做某件事情。像是一个男生可能要只追求个女生。The boy persuaded the girl to have coffee with him. Okay. 所以呢，回到课文 ，Becca Finch， 她竟然还说服这个 Worm 说，哎。Go on, go on, like that. Right. I mean, I'm sure he wants to watch this big fight, but、mm-hmm. we see he thinks, how can he miss <laughs> an occasion to talk to a ghost?、Mm. So here, the word occasion is a particular event. We、mm-hmm. can also use it to mean a suitable time to do something. I mean, how many chances is this guy going to get、exactly. to talk to a ghost? Maybe it'll never happen.、Mm-hmm. So. How could you miss this chance, this opportunity, this occasion where it's a suitable time to do it? For example, we could say Lisa's coming back from abroad soon, and that'll be a great occasion for a celebration. Yay! Okay, occasion. This word means to refer to a time or a chance. Okay, let's look at this. Here, back to the text. Worm, he's very. He wants to see people fight, but he thinks, "Huh." 我竟然看到 Becca Finch 的鬼魂，那怎么可以错过这样子跟一个鬼说话的机会呢？所以这里是 occasion 的用法。Okay, so if you think about eighth grade,、right? you think this is maybe when girls and boys are starting to notice each other. <laughs> oh, okay, I get and, it now.、Mm-hmm. You know, there's that going on as well, and we see Worm isn't very good at chatting with girls.、Mm-hmm. You know, we saw what happened with Mean Monica. Okay, but somehow Becca is. Different. Nice. I mean, she's dead for one okay, thing. Okay, that's that makes, very different. Yeah, maybe that makes it easier, but maybe it's this ghost's personality,、ah. and they find it easy to chat. To chat means to speak casually about a range of subjects. You're not just kind of talking about one thing.、Mm-hmm. You're not kind of like, okay, business, business. We need to、right. talk about this meeting, and you're not having a serious discussion that's really、mm. deep. If you're chatting. You're just sort of talking. Okay, let's talk a bit about movies. What's going on? What was your life like? How was your weekend? Just chatting, covering lots of topics, talking a bit, listening to the answers. You might say, for example, the friends sat in a coffee shop and chatted for several hours.、Mm, this is very common for friends, and I like. Chit chat, <laughs> yeah, okay. Chat 其实就是闲聊啊，聊天这样子意思啦。它是一个动词哦。举例来说，大家应该知道，我们的小黄司机 taxi drivers love chatting to people about politics.、Hmm. But that makes me feel really awkward sometimes. Well, I always get asked, like, you know, have you got married? Have you got a Taiwanese、oh, girlfriend?、And、they love that, chatting. That, that's what the foreign guys get. Okay, so 回到课文 Worm 呢，他不是很会跟女生聊天哦。我觉得他有点宅宅的啦。但是不知道怎么的，他发现 Becca 好像有一点不一样哦。这里的 somehow。就是不知怎么的，这是一个副词哦。Yeah, we don't quite know why, but、mm. something, a thing, a quality、There's、he can't about... exactly name,、mm. but that makes it easier. And、mm-hmm. we see she encourages him <gasps> to come out of his shell.、Oh. That's another cool idiom, like living in someone's shadow,、mm-hmm. like we learned yesterday. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the word encourage. To encourage somebody is to give that person courage. You give them self-belief. You make them feel that they're good. They can do something if they just try. 
encouraging people is kind of saying like, "Jayo, you can do it. I believe in you. You're really good at that thing. You can get that. No problem." That is encouragement, which is the noun form. So we might say, Michelle encouraged her friend Jill to apply for a job at her company. Encourage 就是指鼓励啦，或者是有激励的意思。它是一个动词。通常我们会这样子的用哦 ，encourage somebody to do something， 就是鼓励某人做某件事情。举例来说 ，My parents are super supportive, and they always encourage me to do what I love. Right, and Monica, oh sorry, Becca, it's the yeah, ghost, isn't it?、Right. Becca,、mm-hmm. she's encouraging Worm to come out of his shell. I suppose if he had a shell, he'd be a snail <laughs> rather than a worm or a turtle. <laughs> yeah, but we're not talking about a real shell.、Mm-hmm. To come out of one's shell means to become more confident,、mm-hmm. more outgoing, more social. You、yeah. get better at talking with others. It is like a scared turtle coming out of the <laughs> shell.、Cute. But yeah, it's talking about people just being more social and lively and confident in themselves. 其实我跟大家可以懂，有一些人他比较慢热，所以他可能会躲在自己的这个里面的小世界的感觉。所以这里的 come out of one's shell， 它当然不是真的指壳哦，就是指用来比喻某人不要再那么的可能羞怯啦、畏畏缩缩的、啊。所以这里。这个贝卡是在鼓励他说：“哎，你可以再更加的活跃起来，活泼一点呐、啊，不要这么的内向。” Okay, and she, Becca, believes that's why she's here. That's why she's come、oh. as a ghost to help Worm. Hmm. There's a special meaning behind all this. So he actually is believing that he can help the worm to be more social and more active. And next, we read: Worm tells Becca that his family runs a writers' retreat. Okay. 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 Usually for the purpose of doing something creative, there's no distractions there to stop people from writing or painting.、Oh. There might be rules like, okay, no phones, no、oh. internet. You know, you can't go out and do stuff. We're all here. We're all writers or all painters or artists,、mm-hmm. and we're going to write and paint. And we're not going to bother each other. Maybe we'll have some social events、nice. at the end of the day. But otherwise, we're going here to really pursue and do our art without anybody to stop us and bother us with real life. I like that idea. Okay, 我们先来单单看 retreat 这个字，它是一个名词，就是有退隐处或者是休息处啦，或者是休息寓所。那动词 run 在这里注意哦，这是指的是经营。所以 Worm 他告诉 Becca 说，哎，他爸爸或者他家人他们是经营一个。作家的休息处。That's Worms. Worms family、yeah. runs it, doesn't? Yeah, Worms. Yeah. yeah, that's but, what I said.、Mm-hmm. Right, but by chance, Becca's favorite author is staying there now. Oh, yeah. Okay. So by chance, we use this phrase to say that this wasn't planned.、Mm-hmm. This is just a lucky coincidence.、Mm. Wow, my family has a retreat, and、mm-hmm. your favorite author's there. <gasps> wow, what luck! It's fate, okay.、Mm-hmm. By chance, 就是指碰巧，所以刚刚好。这个贝卡他最喜欢的作家现在就在那个休息处。哎，嗯 ，Becca says Becca, or we find out Becca loves one of her books, this author's books,、mm-hmm. which she says changed her life. Wow, okay. So Becca 可能真的很喜欢这个作家。他说他很喜欢其中一本书，而且这还改变他的人生哦。And next, we read. Now, Becca not only wants to see the writer,、mm-hmm. but also wants a signed copy of the book.、Ooh. Okay, sign 在这里是过去分词当中形容词用，指的是有签名的。而 copy 这个字就是指众多书的其中一本一份。所以这两个字组合起来就是指有签名的一本书。所以现在贝卡不只是想要看到作家，他也希望可以得到有作家亲签的书呢。Okay, so maybe this is something that Worm will go and get for her. Yeah, you know, in exchange for this <gasps> advice and encouragement, 
about coming out、Friendship. of his shell. We'll have to see more in day three of our article as we get towards the exciting conclusion、mm-hmm. to this sort of high school ghost love Ooh, story, whatever it is. Friendship story.、Mm-hmm. Well, let's go to today's for you chat question and discuss something we talked about today. For you chat. So the question is: Has anyone tried to encourage you to come out of your shell before? That idiom: be more confident, be more social. Talk about it. What shell? I'm always yeah, out of my shell. shell. I know. Okay. Yeah. Well, I do actually encourage other people, though, like、mm-hmm. very shy or introverted people, to come out of their shell,、okay. especially students. Right. Yeah. I can tell that they're super shy. Yeah. And I want to encourage them to be more confident, like what you said. Yeah. Well, I would have been a bit more like worm in Ooh, my early high、really? school. I was right in my shell. Oh,、um, yeah. I I needed to get a life. <laughs> But between some friends who、uh-huh. said things like, "Hey, why don't you come and do a practice theatre class?"、Oh, wow! And things like that. That was basically it. Just a few people I knew at school said, "Hey, there's a practice theatre、nice. class one day.、Mm-hmm. Why don't you come and do that? Because it'll be fun." So I thought, okay, I'm not doing anything else、uh-huh. that day. I'll come to Give that class. Give it a、class. go. I had so much fun. That I came out of my shell, got、wow. into theatre, and become the outgoing, confident、nice. person you see today. So、wow. yeah, and they perfect even, example. Yeah, they weren't even that close friends. They were just sort、What? of people I knew who were doing this theatre thing. Said, "Come along." Well, I'm glad they did yeah, ask you at exactly. the time. Exactly, big, you know, life changing high、big、school experience.、Point. And is this going to be a life changing、oh. high school、Ooh. experience for Worm? We'll find out tomorrow. Join us again for that. Vocabulary review. Victim. Pella is talking to the police because she was the victim of that car accident. Tough. Maria fell and broke her arm, but she didn't cry. She's a tough girl. Persuade. Mika didn't want to go to the party, but I persuaded her by telling her it'd be fun. Occasion. Anthony was on vacation. It was the perfect occasion for him to try some new kinds of food. Chat. I saw Marco at the supermarket. We chatted for about ten minutes about his trip to Canada. Encourage. When Nola teaches English to young children, she sings songs and encourages them to talk with her. 智慧小补帖 Retreat. <音>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。